Good afternoon. It's lunchtime. We're on Psalms 107. Give thanks to Jehovah, for he is good, for his loving commitment is everlasting. Let the redeemed of Jehovah say so, whom he has redeemed from the hand of the adversary and gathered out of the lands, from the east and from the west, from the north and from south. They wandered in the wilderness in a desert way. They found no city to dwell in, hungry and thirsty. Their being in them grew faint. Then they cried out to Jehovah in their distress. He delivered them out of their troubles, and he guided them by the right way to go to a city to settle. Let them give thanks to Jehovah for his loving commitment and his wonders to the children of men. For he has satisfied a longing being and has filled the hungry being with goodness. Some sat in darkness and in the shadow of death, bound in affliction and irons, because they rebelled against the word of El and despised the counsel of the Most High. And he humbled their heart by toil. They stumbled and there was no one to help. And they cried out to Jehovah in their distress, and he saved them out of their troubles. He brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death, and he broke their chains in pieces. Let them give thanks to Jehovah for his loving commitment and his wonders to the children of men. For he has broken the gates of bronze And he cut the bars of iron in two. Fools, because of their transgression and because of their crookedness, were afflicted. Their being loathed all food. And they drew near to the gates of death and cried out to Jehovah in their distress. He saved them out of their troubles. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. Let them give thanks to Jehovah for his loving commitment and his wonders to the children of men. And let them slaughter slaughterings of thanksgiving and relate his works with rejoicing. Those who go down to the sea in ships, doing work in many waters, they see the works of Jehovah and his wonders in the deep. And he commands and raises the stormy wind which lifts up the waves of the heaven they go up to the heavens they go down to the depths their being is melted because of evil they celebrate and stagger like a drunkard and all their wisdom is swallowed up then they cry out to Jehovah in their distress and he brings them out of their troubles He causes the storm to be still, so that its waves were silent, and they rejoice because they are hushed. And he leads them to the haven of their delight. Let them give thanks to Jehovah for his loving commitment and his wonders to the children of men. And let them exalt him in the assembly of the people and praise him in the seat of the elders. He makes rivers become a wilderness and the fountain of water become a dry ground, a land of fruit become a salty desert for the evil of those who dwell in it. He makes a wilderness become a pool of water, and dry land become fountains of waters, and he causes the hungry to dwell there, and they build a city to settle in, and they sow fields and plant vineyards, and they make fruits of increase, and he blesses them, and they increase greatly, and he lets not their cattle diminish. But when they are diminished and brought low, through oppression, evil, and sorrow, he pours scorn on nobles and causes them to wander in a pathless waste. And he raises the poor up from affliction and makes their clans like a, like a flock. The straight ones see and rejoice, and all unrighteousness shuts its mouth. Who is wise? Let them observe these matters. Let them understand the loving commitments 
of Jehovah. <clears throat> o Elohim, my heart is steadfast. I sing and give praise, even my esteem. Awake, harp and lyre, I awake the dawn. I praise you, O Jehovah, among peoples, and I sing praises to you among the nations. For your loving commitment is great above the heavens, and your truth reaches to the clouds. Exalt yourself above the heavens, O Elohim, and your esteem above all the earth, in order that those you love might be delivered. Save with your right hand and answer me. Elohim has spoken in this set apartness. I exult, I portion out Shechem, and I measure out the valley of Sukkot. Galad is mine, Manasseh is mine, and Ephraim is my chief defense. Yehuda is my inscriber, Moab is my washpot. Over Adam I cast my shoe, over Philistia I raise a shout. Who would bring me into the strong city? Who shall lead me to Adam? Have you not rejected us, O Elohim? And you do not go out with our armies, O Elohim. Give us help from distress, from the help of man is not. In Elohim we do mightily, for it is he who treads down our adversaries. Do not be silent, O Elohim of my praise. For the mouth of the wrong and the mouth of the deceiver have opened against me. They have spoken against me with a false tongue. They have surrounded me with words of hatred, and they attack me without a cause. In return for my love, they accuse me while I am in prayer, and they repay me evil for good and hatred for my love. A point over him who is wrong and let an accuser stand at his right hand. When he is judged, let him be found wrong, and let his prayer become sin. Let his days be few, let another take his office, let his children be fatherless, and let his wife a widow. And let his children always wander and beg, and seek food out of their ruins. Let the creditor lay a snare for all that he has, and let strangers plunder his labor. Let him have no one to extend loving commitment, nor any to show favor to his fatherless children. Let his descendant be cut off, their name be blotted out in the next generation. Let the crookedness of his fathers be remembered before Jehovah, and let not the sin of his mother be blotted out. Let them always be before Jehovah. And let him cut off their remembrance from the earth, because he did not remember to show loving commitment, but persecuted the poor and needy man. And the brokenhearted to be put to death. He also loved cursing, so let it come to him. And he did not delight in blessing, so let it be far from him. And he put cursing on as his garment, so let it enter in, let it enter his inward parts like water into his bones and like oil. Let it be to him like a cloak he wraps around him and as a girdle that he always girds on. This is the reward of my accuser from Jehovah and to those speaking evil against my being. But you, O Jehovah, Master, deal with me for your name's sake because your loving commitment is good Deliver me, for I am poor and needy, and my heart is pierced within me. I have gone like a lengthening shadow. I have driven away like a locust. I have been driven away like a locust. My knees are weak through fasting, and my flesh grows lean from fatness. And I, I have become a reproach to them. They see me. They shake their heads. Help me, O Jehovah, my Elohim. Save me according to your loving commitment. Let them know that this is your hand. You, Jehovah, you have done it. Let them curse, but you bless. They shall arise, but be ashamed. 
and let your servant rejoice. Let my accuser put on shame and be wrapped in their own confusion as in a cloak. I greatly thank Jehovah with my mouth, and I praise him in the midst of the throng. For he stands at the right hand of the poor to save from those judging his being. Jehovah said to my master, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies a footstool for your feet. Jehovah, send your mighty scepter out of Sion. Rule in the midst of your enemies. Your people volunteer in the day of your might. <clears throat> in the splendors of set-apartness, from the womb, from the morning, you have the dew of your mouth. Jehovah is sworn and does not relent. You are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. Yahovah, at your right hand, shall smite sovereigns in the day of his wrath. He judges among the nations. He shall fill the nations with dead bodies. He shall crush the head over the mighty earth. He drinks of the stream by the wayside. Therefore, he does lift up the head. Aleph, praise Yah, I thank Jehovah with all my heart. Bet, in the company of the strait and of the congregation. Gimel, great are the works of Jehovah. Dalet, searched for by all who delight in them. Heh, splendor and greatness are his work. Vav, and his righteousness stands forever. Zayin, he has made his wonders to be remembered. Het, Yahovah shows favor and is compassionate. Tet, he has given food to those who fear him. Yod, he remembers his covenant forever. Kaf, he has shown his people the power of his works. Lamed, to give to them the inheritance of the nations. Mem, the works of his hands are truth and right ruling. <coughs> Nun, all his orders are trustworthy. Samek, they are upheld forever and ever. Ayin, performed in truth and straightness. Peh, he sent redemption to his people. Sadi, he has commanded his covenant forever. Kof, set apart and awesome is his name. Resh, the fear of Jehovah is the beginning of wisdom. Shin, all those doing them have a good understanding. Tav, his praise is standing forever. <clears throat>